Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've got another new model review today. Oh, actually, it's not so new. Um, I'm not sure when it was released, but it's new to my collection anyway. Uh, and we've got a Mini Champs model. Now, it's been a long time since I've bought a Mini Champs model. I used to own a few, but I sold them on when I was refocusing the collection. Uh, but lately, I've been trying to buy all the winner's cars from the Bathurst 12-hour endurance race. Now, I've got... Uh, four others from the uh, Bathurst 12 hour, all winners cars, uh, and I was missing this one. This is from the 2013 race, and this is the race winning car. So this is of course the Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. Now this is a die cast model and it is sealed, um, but the detail looks okay. It's got a very striking paint job on it. Um, and I don't usually collect Mercedes vehicles, uh, but I bought this one uh, because it's part of my collection of the winning cars from that Bathurst 12 hour race. So it just comes in this uh, picture box, uh, window style box, same as the old Auto Art Millennium models. Uh, it's got a little bit of mini champs riding all the way around, a bit of riding on the bottom. So if we open it up, the model is attached to a plastic base inside. Uh, and it does have a plastic cage around it also to protect the model uh, during shipping. So this is the model in question. Now it's got a very striking paint scheme on it, I really like that. Uh, it's a real shame that it is a sealed model, um, but nonetheless uh, it's a pretty cool looking race car. Now I paid Australian dollars 160 for this. Uh, they're quite rare, you really don't find many of them. Uh, I found this on eBay from an Australian seller uh, and yeah, the only other one I saw on there, they were asking 500 plus dollars for it. So I don't think a Mini Champs model is worth $500, uh, but I took a gamble on this one for 160. So uh, I'll unscrew this from its plastic base. Uh, we'll put it on the turntable and we'll have a closer look at this Mini Champs Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. Okay, so first impressions of the model, it's got great presence, uh, it's got really good stance being a race car and you guys know I love huge big GT wings on my model so overall I'm really happy with it. As I say, it is a die cast model, uh, there is quite a bit of weight to it um, but it is a sealed model. Now let's start with the details. The headlight detail is pretty good. Um, it's got a nice uh, photo etched tow hook on the front here. Uh, Mercedes badges, nice and chrome finish. You do have some little uh, flush bonnet pins here. Uh, and it does have working steering as well and the wheels do roll also front and back. So it's nice that it's got those couple of little features. Uh, now all the grills are solid. Uh, I'm now remembering why I haven't bought any Mini Champs models in a while. Um, there's no photo etch mesh in this model, it's all solid grills as you can see. Now that applies to the top of the hood as well, these are just solid grills. Uh, and the back of the car, solid grills as well. The other little air vents here, solid grills. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, we all like to have photo etch mesh on these models, it just makes them look a lot more realistic uh, and that's one of the reasons I stopped buying top speed models just because of all the solid grills. Um, but as I say, it's, it's not a super expensive model so uh, I can probably live with it on this one because Mini Champs is the only company that made a, a model of this Bathurst 2013 winning model. So. Uh, no other choice is available there. Uh, the paint finish is alright, it's like a, a matte black finish. Bit of silver metallic on the hood and we've got some bright yellow as well. Uh, it's got lots of decals on it as well. Decal application is really good. Uh, you can't see that usual edge or border to the decals. Uh, so that's, that's reasonably good decal work on the model. Uh, it has little exhaust outlets on the side here, but they're very shallow. They're just a moulded plastic piece as well. So, yeah, not a massive amount of detail. Uh, rear tail lights are okay. They look pretty good. Uh, I'm no expert on Mercedes vehicles, but they do look pretty good. Uh, more bonnet pins at the back there. 
third brake light, Mercedes logo, another little photo etch tow hook, uh, and more solid grills in the back. You can see through there there's a, a, a plastic piece which is try to simulate some pipes and hoses. Uh, looks very, very basic to be honest. Uh, the wing legs are okay. Uh, they, they feel metal, uh, but they may be plastic. Uh, and it's got this big jumbo GT wing on it as well. So no carbon fibre finish on any of this model. It's just all painted. Uh, and yeah, decal work as well. So overall, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I think maybe I overpaid for the model, uh, to be honest, but they're just so rare that no one is selling, uh, knowing it, no one is selling these for a realistically cheap price. So uh, nonetheless, it's in the collection now. Uh, it is nice that it does have rolling and steering wheels. Uh, a lot of people like to have that feature in these models. Um, the windows on all the, uh, the plastics on the windows I should say are all pretty clear on the side window, rear window, uh, typical race car inside, so roll cage, single race seat, uh, switches, some hoses, some piping. Again, it's very hard to show you, you the interior of these sealed models. Um, but it's it's acceptable for the price point. There's nothing there's nothing that's uh, jumping out at me that says wow this is a, a really fantastic model. Um, it's okay. It's got a fuel filler here and then a dummy fuel filler or a vent uh, on this side where they fill the fuel. Uh, and the bottom of the model is just flat. There's nothing to see there. So yeah, overall, I mean, it's probably a hundred dollar model to be honest. Uh, I'm really not sure what Mini Champs models retail at brand new. Uh, maybe one of you subscribers can leave a message in the comments and let me know what these models were when they were brand new. Uh, but yeah, I think it's probably a hundred dollar model. Uh, being that it's rare, I had to pay a little bit more. Uh, but overall, it's got pretty good presence, and as I say, it's part of my collection of winning cars from the Bathurst 12-hour endurance race here in Australia. Uh, so yeah, I had to have it in the collection. Uh, and yeah, but honestly, this is probably my last Mini Champs model that, I, that I'll buy. Um, as I say, I remember why I sold my other ones now, just the lack of detail and all the solid grills. Um, yeah, so that's basically about it. Only a short review today on this Mercedes uh, SLS AMG GT3. Um, yeah, overall, I think I probably paid a bit too much, um, but it looks pretty good. It's got good presence. So yeah, just a bummer that it doesn't open. At least the auto arts have opening doors. If this had opening doors, that would be great because uh, it's got the gull wing doors on it. Uh, so yeah, a little bit disappointed with it, um, but happy to have it in the collection for my set of winning cars. So that's it for today's review, only a short one of this Mini Champs Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not subscribe? Don't forget to smash that like button uh, and feel free to share the video also. Uh, I'm on social media as well, the links are on the top of my about page of the channel and uh, don't forget to check out eBay, I've got some rare models and some rare model parts for sale also for you custom model builders. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's short review of this Mercedes vehicle by Mini Champs uh, and until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.